And finally, one more Jersey Cinderella run in the NCAA men's basketball tournament came to an end Friday night. Princeton's Tigers, they did everything they could to pull out a Sweet 16 victory, and we all believed they could, but they came up short against Creighton University. They were the beloved underdogs in this year's tournament, and as Ted Goldberg tells us, fans and the team are still riding high. Princeton's remarkable run in this year's NCAA tournament falls one round shy of what St. Peter's accomplished last year, also as a 15 seed. The Tigers' season ends in the Sweet 16. We're all in our 50s, but we were 21 tonight. And this happens about once every 60 years, so the next time this happens, I'll be dead. A ton of Princeton faithful came out to Louisville, Kentucky to cheer on the Tigers as they made their first Sweet 16 in almost 60 years. I really wanted to see it because I don't know if I'm ever going to see it again, so I am here to support my guys. I'm so proud of them. The school is so proud of them. We, um, you know, you look at, this is such a successful year. It's such a, a year of joy for our program. And um, 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 th these guys, they've done something that no one's ever done. We've created great memories with one another, and I think that's what it's all about, you know, being able to look back and, and be proud of something which, which, you've done, uh, you know, which you've done, you know, together as a unit. And um, we're going to, you know, our bond was great. We're going to have an even greater bond, I think, and it's going to be special, and, and, you know, I'm sure it'll last, um, you know, all of our lifetimes. It looked like there were more Princeton fans than Creighton fans, and for most of the game, they were certainly louder than Blue Jays fans as well. They weren't going to miss this for anything. We drove 11 hours, 11 hours from Jersey all the way here, and I'd do it again. We drove 11 hours to get here because I knew I wanted to support my boys. I never thought we'd make it to the Sweet 16. Our team played so well, and they love each other clearly. And I mean, it's just, it is, I'm super happy we made it this far. They played really well today, and you know what? Wouldn't change a thing. What really like um, surprised me was the amount of alumni that came out. Like we were with um, a lot of class of 97 people. So it was really cool to be there as a student and support my peers and then also have alumni who graduated that are coming back to support the school because of how much they love it. This Princeton squad is only the fourth Ivy League team to ever make it this far, cementing their name on the national stage despite this last loss. We wouldn't be here without, without the fans, without the alums, everyone that's come to support us, man. I mean, uh, every time we, we hit a couple shots, they're going nuts and uh, gives us all the confidence in the world. So I'm very thankful for everyone who's supporting us. It was the coolest thing. And, you know, this, this group right here, they made, we have a really, we, we, we've, we love our school and we feel really good about about the school, and um, but they, we, we felt the love. All I ever wanted in my four years at Princeton was to win one March Madness game. When my first year, we won two. This is more than anything I've ever wanted. I'm so proud of these guys. We beat two power conference schools, Missouri SEC, Arizona, put the Pac-12 champ. A non-scholarship program should never, ever, in a million years, beat one of those quality programs. Make no mistake, fans told me as much fun as they had, this was a pretty bitter way to end the season but they'll always be able to look back fondly on two of the biggest upsets in Princeton's history taking place over the last week or so. A lot of fond memories from a season, even if it ended with a difficult loss in Louisville, Kentucky. At the KFC Yum Center, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.